Okay, now that we have the hands all wrapped, uh, Otis' hands all wrapped, we're going to try to choose a, a good bag glove that fits him pretty much exclusively. Uh, what I've done was I've grabbed a pair of uh, uh, adult bag gloves um, as well as a child's. And as you can see, uh, this is an actual small, uh, this is a small uh, or medium um, bag glove for the average boxer. Um, and if we put that on Otis, um, it's going to be way too big. Um, and some gyms just don't, are not set up. So how's that feel? Is that, is that a little, little big? Um, one of the ways to check a bag glove is to put it on your boxer and then grab the glove you know, by, the, by the thumb and, and by the, 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 the hoof here um, and have the boxer turn his hand inside. Can you turn your hand inside, left to right, back and forth? No, just, there you go. If you can rotate your hand back and forth, then that glove's a little big, isn't it? Yeah, quite a bit big. Okay, we'll try the same thing with a small junior size bag glove, which is what he should be wearing. Um, okay, we'll try that same thing. Slip into that bag glove there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and, and uh, secure it up. Nice Velcro grip here. Okay, now we'll try that exper same experiment. I'm going to grab the thumb and I'm going to grab the, the hoof of the glove here. And I'm going to have Otis try to twist his hand inside there. Now that feels a little bit more secure. There's no twisting in there, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be more conducive to, to smacking on that heavy bag, huh? A little bit later? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you.